the airport city. Doon yung AFAB, kailangan makisama pa rin sa local government. A minute suspension. Session suspended. But also other areas outside of um, Bataan. Bataan is fenced yeah. though. May, may I request the good senator if he can stay there for a while? Uh, because j just to continue your logic. Uh, no, no. I, I agree with you, yung fence. Um, Mr. President, did, did uh, both of the gentlemen understand what I'm yeah. saying? I, I have to ask you to excuse us. Sorry. We, uh, do you want he, me to repeat? No, he was trying to get me to move faster for your benefit. Can, oh. can you repeat? I'm sorry uh, for that. Thank, thank you for the consideration of the gentleman. No. Uh, can you elaborate on Mr. that? So, Mr. President, with the permission please, of the lady and gentleman on the floor. Yes, Senator Secretary, recognized. Um, just for the information of um, Senator Cayetano and Senator Poe, I saw that gaping loophole too after I proposed my amendments. And I intend to propose an amendment basically when Senator Cayetano was taking up the matter during um, a lull in the deliberations in the lounge. That um, the customs territory, the free port zone, although the potential area includes a large portion of the province, what will only, I, I intend to propose an amendment that what will only be considered a free port zone or independent separate customs territory would be areas that are fenced. Because we are learning from our experience in Subic, in Clark, in Sesa. These economic zones are not entirely fenced. And that's where the gaping loopholes um, occur and happen. So in this particular um, measure, we intend to propose at the proper time um, an amendment to plug that loophole that is currently found in those three economic zones at the very least that I'm aware of. In the others, I'm not sure. But in these three economic zones, I'm sure, Mr. President, Your Honor, Sesa, Subic, and Clark, it's not 100% fenced too. I don't care how many gates they have. It's not entirely fenced also. But in this bill, we intend to propose an amendment yeah. that um, yung customs free zone lang, yung free port area lang, should all be fenced Although the bill makes mention of a potential larger area similar to the Bataan export zone, which includes, by the way, Mr. President, not only the province of Bataan, but also other areas outside of um, Bataan. Bataan is fenced, yeah. though. May, may I request the good senator if he can stay there for a while? Uh, because j just to continue your logic. Okay. Uh, no, no. <laughs> I, I agree with you, yung fence. What I'm going to after I ask Senator Po, if, if, if pwede lang, um, ano yung proposed free port versus the eco zone? Because ang next, if I can propose an amendment to your amendment, na fence siya, pero contiguous at certain area. Rather than my fence area ka in this city, fence areas in that city, fence areas in that city. So medyo hirap ka. Remember, Clark covers both uh, Pampanga and Tarlac. Yes. It's 35,000 hectares. But the whole area is, is fence. So I... Personally, I don't mind whether it's 10,000 hectares or 55,000 hectares. Basta contiguous at ano talaga, parang malinaw talaga. Because you don't want um, na maluge yung ibang provinces because of smuggling or bumaksak yung industriya. And there's really so much money in, in, uh, in smuggling. Eh. Di ba? I mean, 12% VAT is hindi, hindi po biru yan. For, so for you to be able to sell at uh, pwera pa income tax, di ba? Pag nag-smuggle ka. So it's such a big... Uh, a big amount. And right now, we're not even talking about just the airport. We're talking from materials mm -hmm. coming from Batangas and Manila port going to, to Bulacan. No? I agree, Mr. President. At the proper time, I would be willing to accommodate the um, proposal of um, the good senator from Taguig and Pateros. Yeah. So, so may I yeah, ask that, um, Madam Mr. Chair? Uh, actually, just for the record, before uh, Senator Escudero, uh, gave his uh, proposal, I already said that perhaps the board yeah. would consider that proposal, which is to really segregate those that will try to avail of uh, fiscal incentive na talagang they're in a fenced area. Yeah. And I mentioned that this was also the concern of the DOF secretary. So can, can you elaborate on what's, how big will be the free port area versus, so the eco zone, so malinaw, di ba na, airport and airport city, 2,500. Um, Mr. President, I think that, that yeah, our... Can, can our colleague Sen not attend Fashion Week first and continue discussion <laughs> with us? The, yeah, Mr. I, President, ganito. I think uh, when you say eco zone, it's not so much a physical area, but uh, to register 
uh, to receive the incentive. Mm -hmm. So uh, it could be it's it's actually not measured by the 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 area mm -hmm. itself, but um, if a company is registered for right. that particular, no, I agree, Madam Chair. Especially nung panahon namin ni Senator Cheese, kasi nung panahon namin halos manufacturing wala pang IT no wala pang tourism enterprise now eh pero ngayon kasi meron ng tourism enterprise so for example kung magtayo akong hotel sa malapit sa Brazilian Church and now that's part of the eco zone i can actually now get incentives for for staying there di ba so now bulacan has advantage over Cavite Nueva Ecija Pampanga uh, Tarlac, etc. No? Valenzuela, not to, not to influence my colleague uh, besides Senator Chis. No? So, I, so the, 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 being a person from Bulacan, I want Bulacan to have all the chances, but it shouldn't be at the expense of others. So, so the free port will be confined to the airport city and contiguous, or it, it could be... What's the rule now of free port versus eco zone? Um, so, so if, am I correct? Yung free port, pwede ka magpasok tax-free, pwede ka magbenta tax-free, pero hindi mo pwede ilabas. Diba? So for example, if you're working in Subic, you can bring him a car tax-free, but dun mo lang pwede gamitin. Hindi pero pwede... Uh, Mr. President, for the manufacturing of goods dun sa Create, you can already sell domestically as long as you pay the proper taxes, uh, if I'm not mistaken. No, I'll, I'll go diba? to that separately late, later okay. kasi may issue din akong konti dun. But um, I, I was just going to your proposal and Senator Chi's proposal na pag finance, it's more important to fence the free port area because dun mo pinapa, it's like the bonded warehouse, di ba? Dun mo kasi pinapasok yung, so, so for example, no, let's say alak. Pag nagpasok ka ng alak, malaki sin taxes natin eh. If you sell it within the free port, it's tax-free. But once you take it out of the free port to be sold, uh, this wasn't manufactured there, huh? it was imported uh, tax-free because it's a free port. So you can you can import kasi tax free sa free port, or are we not allowing this particular free port? Oh, this free port ba is only for what you call this uh, raw materials, or you can also import. That's why I'm confused. Um, what part of the eco zone is eco zone and what part is free port? Mr. President, um, to clarify, my proposal pertains to the zone, not only the free port. Because my problem, if it's, if it's only the free port, which in this case refers to the airport, because there's no port here and there's no plan to create a port here. Um, my problem if, is, is if you will only fence the free port, the manufacturing plant can be within the zone, and how can you now guard against them selling domestically without paying the proper taxes? So my proposal applies to the zone, to um, buzz. The economic zone. To yeah. the buzz, not yeah. the free port But if alone. that's the case, sa laki ng Bulacan, we will need to advise from President Trump kung paano gumawa ng wall all around Bulacan. Mr. President, kasi malayong mas Bulacan magaling ang Pinoy kaysa sa mga Amerikano on the record. No, no, but ang laki ng Bulacan <laughs> eh. So how much will that cost to put a fence all around Bulacan? Then that means the, the coverage of the zone will not be as much and will only cover as much as they can fence. That is the intention of the amendment, Mr. President. The, the, it protects both no, um, BESA I, I hear you, and... I hear um, you, and I think lumalapit na yung wavelength natin in chairperson. But ang point ko, then why grant them by law the whole Bulacan if, he, if tayo pa lang, banging our heads here tonight, uh, cannot figure out how they're going to do it? Well, Mr. President, because again, since we're comparing apples to apples and oranges to oranges, that is the same with respect to Batan. It covers the whole province, although they did not cover the whole province, although there's no requirement to fence it, this will. We're only talking of the potential area so that hindi na sila babalik sa Congreso each time they intend yeah. to expand. We're imposing limitations and restrictions already if in case they want to expand. Although the potential covered area can cover a larger area, but the benefits will only accrue to those that they can comply with the requirements we will be imposing yeah. under this law. Am I correct that Bataan only allows you to register and get the privileges outside the Mariveles area? Yes. But it is not an eco zone yung buong Bataan. Oh, yun, ang kay, yun ang kaiban sa Bulacan eh. Because sa Bulacan, which I'll go to later, pati public utilities ay binibigay na sa Bezo. Um, Mr. President, parang hindi naman yata because those that are already given a franchise will not be... Uh, 
yes. will not change. Yeah, the franchise you. will be... Yeah. No, Thanks for that assurance. Yes, Mr. I'll President. go to that later. But I'm, I'm just distinguishing na iba kasi yung, let's say, Clark and Subic, tapos sabihin mo, pwede mag-register yung nasa labas. Iba yun sa biglang buong Bulacan, we're creating an echo zone na covered sila ng board. So for example, outside the AFAB, yung board ng AFAB does not have the same powers ng board ng BESA. Uh, Outside AFA, beso-beso lang sila, hindi sila pwede mag-besa. Ito, ang BESA has authority outside the airport city. Doon, yung AFA, kailangan makisama pa rin sa local government. Um, a minute suspension. Session suspended. President, to respond to the good gentleman, um, I was clarified during the brief um, recess. Um, this is actually patterns since we're comparing it with other zones after what they did in Ceza and um, Bataan. Wherein, although a bigger area, in the case of um, Bataan, for example, in the case of Cagayan, in the case of Bataan, the entire province, in the case of Cagayan, they named certain municipalities. Although it's part of the zone, you do not enjoy any benefits only if you are registered and qualified to register and actually get registration. Can you qualify for any of the benefits that the Freeport Zone or the Zone, the Eco Zone, would be um, would be um, offering? So, kunwari, sa Bataan, sa Cagayan, ganun din, may mga pribadong bahay na meron may aring pribadong individual, may mga skwelahan na pag-aari ng DepEd, sinama sa area. Pero hindi ibig sabihin na yung mga establishmentong itatayo doon, automatic, ay magbe-benepisyo doon sa mga incentives sa ilalim ng panukalang batas na to. Magbe-benefit lamang sila kapag ka nag-qualify at nag-register at ni-register sila dun sa nasa naman tayo? Sa Besa. Sa Besa. Mr. Sa Besa. Pres Mr. President, if I may add, uh, the, the initial brainstorming that we had in our discussion here, since it's not the actual territory but the registration in Besa that will make you uh, avail of the benefits of tax incentives and uh, uh, no duties, maybe that's where we can fence the area. Uh, if you really want to register under the free zone benefit of BESA, then you have to be within a certain area carved out in that echo zone. Para you don't have to, you don't have to fence in the entire town or towns in Bulacan. Um, Mr. President, did, did the, both of the gentlemen understand what I'm yeah, saying? I, I have to ask you to excuse us. Sorry. We, uh, do you he, want me to repeat? No, he was trying to get me to move faster for your benefit. Can, oh. can you repeat? I'm sorry uh, for that. Thank you. Thank you for the consideration, the gentleman. No, uh, because it's an economic zone, just like uh, in Cagayan, but not all of the establishments there will have the qualification to register um, under BESA uh, requirements. Yes. So, wala silang tax exempt, exemptive ex exemption. So, ang pwedeng gawin, siguro, di ba? anyway, we're trying to polish this, di ba, Mr. President, if uh, those that only th those that will try to avail of the BESA free zone uh, category or, or, qual or accreditation will have to relocate in a fenced-in area within the economic zone. Yeah. As far as that being for purpose of organization, uh, yeah, organization and efficiency no, in tax collection, peace and order, um, I, I agree with you na yung administrator and yung board, they will do good on that kasi Ano din nila yan eh? Income, reputation, Income, and everything. Sayang, no? but, but my point is, alimbawa PESA, no? PESA started out with Bataan, then Cavite, then Cebu, Baguio. Uh, then later on, they can accredit. So like alimbawa, sa BGC, sa Fort Bonifacio, they have several there, almost 100 in the Taguig area, more than 100 in the Taguig area. But PESA has no authority over the BGC area. Diba? They do have authority, almost complete authority, within the Baguio Export Processing Zone, within Cavite, and ganyan. So, yun ang sinasabi ko na medyo mixed blood itong BESA. May pagka uh, uh, autonomous region because it's one whole province and you're giving the BESA its own security force. Uh, we're giving them um, yung a customs territory that will cover the whole, etc. So it's basically making the whole uh, Bulacan an autonomous region. And that's why I'm honestly uh, expressing my views that I don't know if I want it for the Bulacanios because it's a great opportunity 
or whether nga it's too big an experiment kung yung buong Bulacan right away. No? So may, maybe to, to reframe the question, Madam Chair, shouldn't we, why do we need the whole area? I mean, if successful yung AFAM, AFAB, AFAB uh, just like cheese, a fabulous senator, uh, AFAB, kung successful yung AFAB, Clark, Subic, why do we have to put the whole Bulacan under the the BESA right away? That, that, well, that's Mr. why... Mr. President, kasi one, one, two successes better than one. Three successes better than yes. two. So, but diba, but we're one, trying to... one small success that leads to ten successes is better than one whole tapos magka-problema. Remember, we're talking about many things here. Balance of the provinces, balance... So, you're, you're going to basically put so much control in so this. It's, it's a pleasure of our ge the gentleman from Taguig uh, maybe to identify certain areas only no, and that, that going back, can be proposed. Going back, Mama, wala po akong, there, there's no malice in me asking nga, who is the proponent? Kasi kung ang proponent nito San Miguel and they can come up with a master plan, sabi ko nga kay Senator Coco, I'm not saying hindi pwedeng, I'm, I'm just asking na hindi blank check eh. Isulat natin kung ano yung nasa check eh, so that we know what we're getting, di ba? Kasi usually, kung sinong proponent, i-explain niya why 55,000 square, why the whole province, why the whole... Uh, because nga, you know, I, I would have the same reaction if we're doing this for Cavite. So, for example, the Remulias and Viratas had a proposal for a Cavite International Airport. And if they suddenly were proposing the whole Cavite to be a eco zone, I would totally understand, given their location, given their history in manufacturing, yung ginawa ng father ng uh, Remulias in you know, making a province that was basically agricultural and maraming peace and order problems to a very progressive province. But I would have the same reaction na, uh, ano ang pambalansin nito sa, sa lahat? So, I mean, the gentleman from Bulacan is here, I was saying kanina, no? na, na, for example, no? if I find some land near Braswin Church and put it up there, I can put up a casino without incentives, but I can say that yung hotel is tourism and get incentives. So, because it's inside the, the eco zone. So, medyo nalilito ako dun sa character nung, nung eco zone na to because nga it's the, it's the whole province. Eh. Um, again, Mr. President, Your Honor, um, in Bataan, it's the whole province. In Cagayan, it's um, nearly half of the municipalities of the province. Although they did not have a footprint in those up to today, hindi pa nag-expand. Um, but um, Senator Pimentel, during your exchange with um, Senator Poe, earlier said, paano nga naman kung meron ng manufacturing sa labas, ng uh, fence, na pasok sa zone? Sabi ko, based on my amendment, if it is carried, he will not be um, granted a license or a permit because um, BESA cannot fence it since it's not contiguous. Ang point naman ni Senator Mentel, kawawa naman siya. Sabi ko, under the bill, he can apply with PESA. And in theory, it has the same incentives and benefits. Sabi ni Senator Mentel, eh baka gusto niya sa BESA eh. Eh wala na tayo magagawa. Um, we have to choose between uh, the best of both. We have to choose one between uh, two choices. But Mr. President, the point I'm driving at is, Clark, Subic, and Cagayan are not fenced. And there is no requirement to fence the no, zones. Clark and Subic are fenced. It is not entirely fenced, Mr. President, Your Honor. It is not. Some parts of uh, Subic is actually uh, forest. It is not yeah, entirely yeah. fenced yet. Pero all those with, I mean, if you're going to smuggle to the forest, but wala si Robin Padilla dito, but yung, yung, if you're going to use the roads, it's all, may exit, may entrance. I agree, not sila. I agree Mr. President. But the same force, is true. It's covered and everything. But the same is true for, pero, Kung gusto may paraan, kung ayaw, palagi namang may no, no. So yung gagawa ng paraan, gagawa no, ng paraan what, what I'm saying, Mr. President, uh, Senator Cheese, if you say BGC, ilan lang entrance at exit yun? Dating kampo yun eh. So ang Subic at Clark, dating kampo eh. Pero pag sinabi yung buong tagig, eh may Laguna Lake ka, may Paranaque, may Makati, may Pateros, may Muntinlupa, may Pasig. So ma magkaiba talaga. You cannot, it's not apples to apples. It's an apple orchard to an apple. Mr. President, again, in the case of Bataan, although it covers the entire yeah, province... But, Bataan used to be... PESA, EPSA, Mariveles zone. Yes. It grew from there. It grew. But naka-fence pa rin yung my port uh, nandun. I agree. 
inaalaw lang individually. Pero walang power ang AFAB na katulad ng powers nito to the rest of the province. That's a different subject matter. No, so, Empower okay. If you're going to compare this to AFAB, if I may, Mr. President, then why don't we just give the same powers of AFAB sa BESA? So kung ano provisions ng AFAB, yun na rin ang provisions ng... But generally it is, Mr. President, to my knowledge. In fact, for example, as you pointed out earlier, um, CESA even has more powers, for example, no, no. compared ang, to AFAB, compared to um, SUBIC even, compared to um, BESA mm -hmm. right now. In fact, aside from APECO, these are the only two zones that allow um, internet gaming up to today. Um, and this is not the case um, in, the, in the case of um, BAS or BEZA. So there are distinctions between economic zones. Some have certain advantages over mm -hmm. the others. Hindi ko sinasabing pagalingan, pero siyempre kada provincia gusto magkaroon ng advantage if you ask me, Mr. President, I would like a CESA 2 in Sorsogon, a Sorsogon Economic Zone, if we have the opportunity and the potential and privilege. A Quezon. yun Let's Let's make it clear. Huh? The, the benefits of jobs will go to Bulacan. But, but the benefits of this eco zone will go to the airport city, to San Miguel, and to whoever buys the 40% of the eco zone. No, but in, in there's in also employment yes, there. Yes, that's what I said. Aside, yeah, the aside jobs from. will go to the Bulacanos. Some property prices will rise. But this isn't like the basis conversion in Baguio, in Fort Bonifacio, in Pasay, na all the benefits went to the, the no, city. Mr. President, yeah. Whatever the revenue of uh, Beza is, 40% goes to the local government. 40% goes to the local government. 40% goes to... Um, the I'm national sorry, government. the national government, and 20% goes to Yes, Pisa. and that 100% is much smaller than what they would have gotten if they weren't an eco zone. Kasi mas maliit yung 100% na yun, dahil marami ng exemption yung, yung kumpanya na yun na magbibigay ng 100%. Mr. President, just for the record, um, Pero wala pa naman nandun eh. <laughs> unlike Clark, although it was the Americans... No, wala lang nandun sa Bulacan na magkakaroon because there's an airport, but in Malolos, in... In uh, other cities in Bulacan, there are a lot of businesses there. It's a thriving province. Mr. President, just for the record, um, unlike, well, in the case of Clark, although it's the Americans that built it, government funded it, now it's operated by the private sector as well. So whatever benefits accruing to that airport, now operated by the private sector, revenue going directly to the private sector operator, that we do in Clark will benefit him too. In this case, Government did not and will not spend, based on the franchise granted earlier by Congress, will not spend a single centavo building this airport. So whatever benefits accruing to it by way of traffic, perhaps, cargo, um, wala naman din ginastos yung gobyerno sa pagpapatayo ng airport. Hindi tulad nung Clark nga, na nasa pribadong kamay na rin. At in the case of Naia, lately, binid out na din. Am I excused already yeah. um, by the uh, gentleman from Taguig? Um, because um, it's... <laughs> yeah. no, la last one item because the good senator chairperson mentioned it na. Yung about uh, the... Did he say last item? Mr. No, last item na kasama si Senator Cheese. Anong yung ano? Yung sa utilities? Sa public utilities, section 13, paragraph B. Public utilities. D. Undertake established construction, operation, maintenance of public utilities, other services, and infrastructure in the Bulacan Eco Zone. I may I ask the purpose for this provision? What, what uh, section again, Mr. Section 13, letter D. Section 13, letter D. Okay, letter D. D as, in, D as in delightful. Undertake the establishment, construction, operation, maintenance of public utilities, other services, infrastructure in the Bulacan eco zone, such as light, power, etc. 
provided that such shall be in compliance and coordination of the rules and regulations of the concerned departments and agencies. So what's the question of our colleague? So what, what's the purpose? Why give uh, the authority this power? Why not the private sector? So why give them the monopoly of... Uh, th that's a separate franchise by itself. Because eh? public utility includes distribution of electricity, transmission of electricity, petroleum and petroleum products pipeline, water pipeline distribution, seaports, and public vehicles. So if you have that provision, they can actually put up their own port, so it will now compete with the Manila and Bulacan uh, seaport. And again, we don't have a study regarding that. But this provision will allow them to do that. Well, Mr. President, sometimes when there, there is an expansion needed or uh, an improvement in uh, maybe laying out for telecommunications or other infrastructures, it could be a joint venture between the public sector and the private sector. Um, in this case, we also put a provision that says that if it's a franchise already given, let's say, to the to Meralco, yeah. hindi naman magta-take over the... Saan po yan? Saan nakalagay yan? Um, section, ano ba yan? Yung the franchise shall not be... Section 13D. Um, Saan dito yun? I, it, it's in the. It was in the amendment that we put in earlier. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can read amendment. it. If okay. No, I mean, I, of course, I'll take your word for that. So, kung may existing uh, franchise, uh, hindi po hindi po sila. Okay. If that franchise is revoked or runs out, will it be automatically uh, bersa na? No, Mr. President, because uh, we can't take that. Uh, authority or power mandate yeah. away from Congress. Yeah, but it's Congress that will only be the ones to grant a franchise. The, then, uh, then, 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 because basically without using the word franchise, letter D is actually granting them a franchise. Wala lang yung word na franchise because they're allowed to establish, construct, and operate, maintain public, that's a franchise. Well, maybe, Mr. President, uh, a line can be proposed uh, that says that uh, for undertakings that require a congressional franchise, then they need to go through the, the process of securing a congressional franchise. Or can we, w would it be possible, Madam Chair, to make it more broad that, for example, no port. For us to put up a port in any other place in the whole country, you need, if I'm not mistaken, the port authority mm -hmm. study and everything. Eto kasi, you know, if I was the lawyer of BESA and I saw this, I can build it. Pabaya among questionin ako ng Philippine Port Authority or questionin ako ng, ng Meralco or whoever. Se secondly, um, could we put that, uh, kasi iba yung sabihin they may, but what about others? Because I, I, I personally do not like monopolies. Eh. So Bulacan is so big. So if you only have one distributor of electricity or water, or uh, it's going to lead to uh, abuse. Iba yeah, but, kasi pa rin sa Clark at sa Subic kasi nga compound yun eh. So pero malaki ah. Malaki rin ang Clark. Malaki, mas malaki pa yung Subic. Y yes, but if sasabihin mo pa kasi sa Clark at Subic na dalawa-tatlo kayo doon, um, ang mangyayari doon, baka walang gumawa. Uh, unlike sa Bulacan, it's an existing province eh. It's a, it's That's a, why it's an existing province with existing utilities already um, with uh, franchises that were granted to those. So, you know, to revoke a franchise actually is, takes longer than, than, uh, than but, just an instant rev revocation. They have to, there, there should be a case filed in Congress and then doon pa eh, ang dami nga nakalusot yeah. na mga hindi compliant pa nga eh, uh, sa lower house. So, uh, Meron din ngayon na nire-revoke sa lower house na franchise, pero kailangan pa rin dumaan dito sa atin. So hindi na naman ganun kadali na mawala ng prangkisa. Yes, Madam Chair, but for example, ha, I wouldn't approve in this Congress, or hindi naman ako pwedeng mag-approve lang, I wouldn't vote for one company to have bulk terminals in Cavite, Batangas, Bulacan. But basically, we're, we're giving this to, to them. If you look, it's uh, wholesale ito. Uh, Services, infrastructure, light and power, shipping, barging, stevedoring, cargo, handling, hauling, warehousing, storage of cargo port, port services, concession, piers, bulkhead, bulk terminals, mooring areas, storage areas, roads, telecommunications. They can put up their own uh, smart and globe. 
Uh, But Mr. President, yung mga ibang eco zones, ganun din yung mga provisions. Yeah, but eh. the, the other eco zones are not a whole province. Eh. Well, Bulacan is one of our biggest uh, highly populated provinces. It's not province. also the whole province of Bulacan. There are only no, 10. Under A and B, it's the whole Bulacan. Well, it, it can expand, but it's still yeah. not. I mean, it, it's something that we can... Uh, that it's not yet defined here in the law which provinces that well, is. Those but, are. Yeah, but Madam from, Chair, iba po yung can expand by legislation. Iba yung nasa law na na you will eh. So, nakaabang na to eh. Ano nakaabang? Nakaabang na kasi, yan, letter B. The remaining territories of the city of Malolos and Mekawayan other, other, um, and of municipalities of Bulacan, Paumbong, Giginto, Balagtas, Bukawe, Marilao, Obando, and Santa Maria in the province are not yet included as component parts. And then letter C, all other areas of municipality whose meets and bounds shall be clearly defined within the province of Bulacan. So we only agreed na tanggalin yung surrounding areas. But yung whole province of Bulacan, nakaabang na yan eh. Well, ganun din sa, Bulac sa Bataan actually ngayon. Again, there's a big difference between Bataan and Bulacan, whether the population, the location. Uh, NLEX is not beside Bataan. I Bataan needed it because nga, you know, of its geographic location, etc., etc. So may, may pagka-affirmative action din to eh. D yung sa paglalagay dun sa mga area na yan. Okay, so Mr. Uh, President, I, I actually, I, I understand the concern of the gentleman. Perhaps uh, by the proper wording, we can... Uh, put those safeguards para hindi lahat I, I agree masama. with you, but why not instead of uh, safeguards, wh why not just let free market determine the public utilities as it is now in Bulacan? Because, Mr. President, there are already franchises granted. So, maybe what we can put is... Uh... Th that's what I meant, Madam Chair. No, why don't, why if... don't we allow it? So, kung may gustong gumawa ng highway doon, why stop them? Why, why should um, uh, the the beso have the sole authority to be to build any highway in Bulacan. So, so you will take away from the others. So for example, although nabasa ko recently that MVP and RSA once might collaborate on certain expressways, but you see that NLEX and uh, SLEX are handled differently. So under this present one, it's well, only beso who can determine that. No, um, well, Mr. President, one thing is if, if there are, you know, uh, roads or areas there that need to be developed or transportation terminals, etc. Um, that's, that's going to be part of the master plan of the economic zone. It will go through a board, which, by the way, Mr. President, as I mentioned, uh, DPWH, uh, DOTR is part of, uh, as I mentioned, NEDA, um, DTI, I mean, within, within the board itself, there's already representation by the national government and also the local government. So the, the reason why we're trying to establish also an eco zone is so that, as I mentioned, uh, there can be expediency also. But, but again, uh, I will defer again yeah. to the wisdom yeah. also of our colleague. If there's proper wording that he would like to mm. propose, we will uh, uh, accept it. Ma Madam Chair, what I'm saying is the majority will prevail but it doesn't mean that the majority is always correct. That's why I'm appealing to our reason na hindi naman siguro tama na isang buong probinsya, i-award natin isang eco-zone, then lahat ng ports, lahat ng kuryente, tubig, etc., sila lang ang pwedeng mag-determine. So, uh, uh, may, may finish. So, parang sasabihin natin sa Bulacan nyo, huy, magde-develop kayo. Pero hindi natin alam, libre pala yung barel, mahal pala yung bala. Mahal pala yung tubig, mahal pala yung kuryente, yung palang port, eto lang ang pwede, because you're taking out the opportunity for the Bulacan government and the national government from allowing other bidders to build all of this. You, by having them represented in the board, tali pa rin ang kamay nila. Wait, so the DOTR, may I finish lang? The DOTR secretary will be in the board, but if the DOTR secretary says SM or MVP wants to build the highway here, the board can shoot him down and say, hindi, uh, beso lang ang, ano, ang authorized dito. So if they want to do it, mag-propose sila sa, sa BESO. Um, Mr. President, it doesn't say that solely responsible. It says undertake the establishment. It doesn't say solely undertake the establishment. So pwede pa naman dito na y makapasok yes, yung Madam iba. Chair, pero katulad ng port. But it should, be, it should be, sir, in compliance and coordination with the rules and regulations of concerned departments and agencies. So kung hindi naman ito papayag yung DPWH, or DOTR, kahit na sabihin mo yung, yung, na may board representation sila, yung ibang departments, 
na hindi kasama sa board can still have a say and strike it down. Like let's say DPWH na hindi kasama sa board but they're an agency of the government, they can, they can uh, resist giving a permit. Even the local government, Mr. President, uh, although they have representation in the board, it does not take away their autonomy to grant building permits and business permits. So, meron pa rin po. It's a delicate balance also of um, of uh, maintaining the autonomy of the local government. Madam Chair, time, under the ease of doing uh, government law, ang nakalagay kasi dito, they only have to comply with the rules and regulations. But the legislative authority is given to them na. So, katulad ng seaport, halimbawa, you cannot put two seaports near the, the Bulacan Airport. You cannot put that. It's not economically viable. And then, so, then, so, so if, pwedeng pumayag yung, because Madam under Chair, the departments finish. and agencies, yeah. if, the Philippine Ports Authority can just say hindi pwede yan. They, they cannot, under, Madam Chair, they cannot. Because it says here under the law, uh, as long as you follow the rules and regulation. When you follow the rules and regulation under the ease of be, uh, doing business law and the anti-red tape, hindi pwedeng i-deny yung permit mo. May legislative authority ka na eh. Sumunod ka sa rules. So, Mr. President, rules we, and regulations of departments yes, and agencies. Yes. They, so, they, they, they have two things. They have authority to grant the license and they have the rules and regulation. If you already gave the legislative uh, authority, sinabi mo na eh, pwede kang gumawa ng port. All you have to do is to download from the internet yung requirements of port. It has to be this big. It has to be this. It has to be... Hindi ka na pwedeng pigilan ng DOTR or ng Port Authority na gawin yun. Hindi, Mr. President. If the DOTR, the Port Authority, finds something wrong, for example, um, it's dangerous to build in that area or not, they can still strike no, it down. Uh, of course, if it's dangerous. But if not dangerous, but it's... it's uh, they complied lahat. Pero iba ang gustong gumawa, hindi beso. Beso can block them. And Beso can say, hindi, kami ang gagawa. So, kung kung sinong gagawa ng port doon, dapat hindi Beso ang mag-decide. Ang mag-decide dapat noon, uh, kasi we keep expanding eh. First, it was an airport, then an airport city, then an eco zone. And then now, pati kuryente, tubig, bus, highway. So, gumagawa ng sariling autonomous region or may Republic of San Miguel dito sa sa Bulacan, which I think is unfair to other businessmen. Hindi naman po, Mr. President. Ako, no, this that, is, that's the, no, no, that's I mean, the implication. I'm not, you are the lawyer, yeah. Mr. President, so I will wait for our colleague to propose a language that he feels comfortable with. But my, my understanding is, you know, within the eco zone are also private lands uh, that cannot just be usurped. So if, if the, uh, there's a private development there between somebody, they can still build. Uh, they don't, there's no express language that says the Baxes fucking um, Madam Chair, deny them. Madam Chair, if I was the Villar Group or the SM Group or the MVP Group at bibiling ko yung lupa, I will check muna kung papayag yung authority na bibildan ko. Kasi kung hindi rin na mapapayag yung authority, ba't ko bibilin yung lupa? Eh, ang problema, hindi na sila tutuloy sa, sa, ano eh, sa DOTR, sa PPA, sa uh, ERC, etc. Kailangan pa nila magmano sa beso, which you know, for all practical, ano, is intimately tied with the airport city and San Miguel Corporation. So that's the reality there. Eh. No, it's, but Mr. President, di ba, sinasabi nga natin yung composition ng board, um, ilan lang, most of them are appointed by the President. The others are ex-official members, uh, and then the others are from the local government. So, kahit nasabihin mo itong, ano, uh, San Miguel it might, may be the biggest investor, may checks and balances, that's why we put that in the, ano. But again, Mr. President, ha, uh, again, the expert here, I suppose, uh, legally, I would like to wait for your actual amendments, Mr. President, and we, we, we can accept it. Yeah. Well, well the, the easiest way to do it is, which I, I thought that's what we believe in in this country, is a uh, free market. Uh, so that anyone can come in and in any province in our country, you know, th there are exceptions with enclosed uh, former military camps, and there are reasons for, for that. But, uh, for example, no, Metro Manila, pinaghatian niya ng Manila at Manila Water. D dahil hindi nga uh, mature enough pa yung market na sabay sila at ganyan. So, may mga ganun accommodation. But, for example, Smart at Globe, hindi natin sila pinagbawalan na, na mag-compete. But to give uh, now the power to uh, this entity to have their own telecommunication system, so they can put up the ano, uh, Bulacan Telecoms? Um, Mr. President, I mean, to endeavor. Ha? Like, for example, now, because uh, we've opened the Public Service Act and um, we've seen that uh, certain, like, telecommunications is no longer a natural monopoly. Uh, in fact, SpaceX...
can can uh, provide service in that area. Converge can provide service in that area, um, and and other telco companies. Kasi nga, well, hindi na nga natural monopoly yun eh. Wala na yun sa Public Service Act na sinasabing natural monopoly. There are just a few categories. So, Mr. President, pag sinabing uh, free market, a eh, free zone. <laughs> I mean, I, it, it's a principle no, of no, encouraging. Chair, it's yeah. called a free zone because walang taxes. No, I, not, I know what you mean. They're... But but that's why we're, we're saying the principle of free market is to encourage nga more capital, more investors. So, I you know, I'm awaiting also what is the proper language uh, that will uh, guarantee... That's why, Madam Chair, the question is, why are we giving them this gift? Hindi naman kasama sa pag free zone yan eh. Diba? Because this is nga an existing province. This isn't a new uh, vacant lot or, or a uh, redevelopment or a uh, military camp na i-develop mo. Kung halimbawa, i-develop mo ang Fort Magsaysay, then by all means, all of these powers ilalagay mo dyan because except for the military housing and training areas, you have nothing there. But Bulacan is filled with people, filled with businesses, with enterprise and everything. And may mga plano na lahat dyan. Uh, ang, ang the top 10, top 15 na uh, real estate developers, may plano lahat dyan. No, now, Mr. if President, you make it all subject to uh, right. be BESA, then it changes the level playing field in the whole province. Okay. Uh, the power, this, this is the understanding that we have. Uh, the power given to BESA is not to the exclusion of other public utilities. Uh, there, there's no express language in the bill prohibiting other utilities to set up. In fact, that is the essence uh, of our amendment earlier. We don't want to exclude others. BESA does not even give the franchise. It is still the agencies and Congress. So, um, Mr. President, uh, we, we, can, we can expound on this, but uh, I would well, also well, would like to... Two questions yeah. about that. One, if other entities do not have a legislative franchise, but we already gave them, then sila lang ang pwedeng gumawa. Oh. Uh, so, yun nga. So, shouldn't we give everyone? I'm sorry? We, we already gave BESA. Eh. So, like telecommunications, kailangan mo ng franchise para magkaroon ng telco. Eh. We're not giving BESA a franchise, uh, Mr. President. Wala lang yung word na franchise, but we're uh, basically giving them a franchise. To undertake. Um, Mr. President, it's just saying that they're not excluded from perhaps undertaking it. But they still, after they... They undertake this, let's say uh, they want to build uh, infrastructure for telecommunications. For them to be operational, they have to apply for a franchise with Congress. I mean, they they I, don't have to, Madam Chair, because tignan niyo yung wording. Ha? Undertake the establishment, construction, operation, and maintenance of public utilities, other services, infrastructure in the Bulacan Echo Zone, such as, uh, then in a rate niya, no? Mr. President, uh, will it help if we can just put, provided that they should be in compliance with Congress right to grant, uh, Congress mandate to grant a franchise and concerned departments, uh, permits, and agencies? My point, Madam Chair, is that if you take this out and they want to do it, they can still apply it. But if you put this, basically you're giving them all the power now. We're not uh, giving them all the power if they have to still be compliant. No, ma'am, because they have to establish, they can construct, they can operate. Okay, that's why, they, Mr. President, uh, yeah. this is curative. Eh? I, I believe that when we're doing an amendment, we're trying to cure uh, whatever flaws yes, the yes, bill has. Yes, so Madam instead Chair. of arguing about it, uh, that you know they, we're, we're giving them that power, I agree with our colleague here that we should put something uh, that says that they have to still uh, go through the regular... Uh, law, uh, the, the regular process mm. in obtaining such permits. Can, can we do that, yeah. Mr. President? Yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe, do you have the proposal ready, sir? Uh, no, that, precisely that was my question because, you know, for all I know, when I ask the question, baka may specific reason nga why we're granting no, I, them, okay, so, them that. Okay, so let's, let's work on that, uh, yeah. Mr. President. Okay. So, may I go to the Board of Directors? Uh, first question... Why did we digress from the usual board ng ibang mga economic, uh, ibang uh, eco zones? Eco zone? I believe, Mr. President, the reason why we did that is we wanted uh, more participation from national government agencies as well as more representation from the local government to guarantee also some sort of uh, autonomy for them. Yeah. But under the proposal in this bill, it will ensure that uh, a, the chairman will be a nominee of the San Miguel Corporation Airport City? No, Mr. President. 
No, uh, anong section siya? They will be he, he will be elected among the members. Yes. He'll be elected among the members, but all of the members cannot be elected because you're not allowed to chair a echo zone if you already have a different government job. That would be unconstitutional. So ang natira na lang na pwede, yung representative of airport project at yung echo zone workers and yung private sector. But yung lahat ng iba kasi, like governor ng Bulacan, hindi ka pwedeng governor ng Bulacan tapos chairman ka ng, then, ng ano. Diba? So all, all, all the others, APECO, CESA, AFAB, uh, the chairman is appointed by the president or it's ex officio a cabinet secretary. So why don't we just make the chairman appointed by the president? Hmm? We can, uh, we can uh, if, you, if you have a proposal, Mr. President, that uh, we can uh, amend. Yeah. It's not just a proposal, it's pointing out that we want to keep a Chinese wall. We want the synergy and we want the airport to be successful, but we want to, um, to, to prevent a conflict of interest between the private-led San Miguel Corporation and the publicly owned uh, BESO. But under the way it was crafted, ang magiging chairman dito, representative ng airport project. And then if you look at the powers, the board or the president can give the chairman the powers of the administrator. So he can basically take over. So basically he gave the whole province to the owner of the airport. So private na to. So no, iba no, iba na. Ken, Ken. Yeah, Ken, uh, Ken. I'm, can. I'm talking but, about But diba sabi mo nga, mayroong representative of the labor, ano? Bakit dun sa mga AFAB, sino yung representative? Uh, no, sa AFAB, administrator is chairman. BPI. So pwede rin, kung gusto ninyo, ganun. Yeah, pwede yeah. rin. Just so that it's consistent. Uh, again, di ba? Doon sa AFAB, elected among the members of the board. No, the AFAB, it's administrator of AFAB is the chairperson. Sineparate na nila yun. Uh, AFAB has amended it. Uh, separate na yung, yung chairman and administrator. As a default under the Philippine Constitution, the, the president uh, diba, um, appoints. So if it's okay with the chairperson, uh, the good senator, why don't we just let the president choose the chairperson so that at least the administrator, because the president is accountable. Eh. Yeah, accountable Mr. President, to all with, of us, with the yeah. proposal, uh, yeah. please uh, propose the amendment and we will look into it. Yes. And then, can we make it clear? I, I don't know how to word it. I, I know that wasn't the intention, but if you read the powers of the chairman, parang pwede ibigay ng board or president yung powers ng administrator. Kasi ang pagkaintindi ko, ang CEO or COO is the administrator. The chairman is really the chairman of the board, really policy making, diba? Unless we intend it to be both, then go in natin no, clear. No, no, no. no, no, no. no. So it's like BCD, we, we iba, the, yung, iba yung president, iba yung. Yeah. Yes, Mr. Uh, president, yes, that, that, that could be uh, an amendment uh, for the president to appoint uh, the chairman. Yeah. Okay. Can I go back to the. Yung pung sinabi nyo about yung. Uh, pwedeng to sell locally. Okay. Yeah. Simply, because I have 110 million reasons to start with. Such is my faith.